Hey guys, because of the economy and the current predicament of Nigerians, fights don't bust out for us, Oracle. Everything don't turn upside down. In fact, different thing is not going on in Nigeria. Everything does scatter everywhere, don't bust. This will shock you. As Aso Rock on fire, President Bola Metunubu and his vice, they are currently fighting because of the current predicament in Nigeria. This one saying not like this supposed to be. This one saying not like this, Nayokosa. You know, this is expected. You understand? When you make decisions, when you are not prepared for it, you will, you will, you have to wait and get the repercussions, and that is just what is going on today in Nigeria. President Bola Metunubo, on his inaugural day, unprepared for what he was going to announce, he had ju he just announced it. Friend subsidy is gone, thinking that that is just how it works. When he just talks, say friend subsidy is gone, is gone. Is immediately after he mentioned that. Fuel jump from 200 to 500 to 600. Now, so many persons, so many um, filling stations now are now selling for 700 naira and above. Everywhere, don't cast prices of things and all that. Nigerians are lament lamenting of hunger. President Bola Tinubu has disowned the vice president, Kasim Shetima consigning purported plan by the administration to establish a price control agency in order to arrest the rising cost of goods. And Nigerians are now, what is all this? Why is he opposing the, the, the vice president? If this is what they want to do, so that this wala, you know, of these things rising every hour will end, why is President Bola Metunubu against the vice president? You know, as majority of Nigerians are now saying, we talk um, that this man gets, you know, mission to destroy this country. I beg, before you talk plenty, maybe we hit the news, get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. I beg, share this video, let it go viral. Drop your view below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg, share this video. You understand? Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Shatima had on, on Tuesday at a two-day high-level uh, strategic meeting on climate change, food systems and resources mobilization held at the Bokret Hall of the Presidential Villa Abuja, mentioned some uh, rafts of measures the government will put in place to check increasing cost of living, claiming a price control board is also on the way. The short-term strategy entails revitalizing food supply through specific interventions like the distribution of fertilizers and grains to farmers and households to to counteract the effect of subsidy remover. Fostering collaboration between the, the Minister of Agriculture and um, the Minister of Water Resources for efficient farmland ir 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 irrigation, ensuring year-round food production and addressing price validity by establishing a, nation, a national commodity board, the Vice President remarked. This, the president contradicted at a meeting involving the vice president, the governors, the national security advisor, the inspector general of police, the director general of the state security service, SSS, and ministers held on Thursday at the state house. The contradiction was contained in a statement presidential spokesman Ajiri Garali released in which he narrated what Tinubu said at the meeting. Quoting the president, Ngarale wrote, what I will not do is to set a price control board. I will not also approve the importation of food. We shall be able to get ourselves out of the situation. We found ourselves in because importation will allow rent seekers to 
perpetrate fraud and mismanagement at our collective expense. We would rather support farmers with schemes that we make them go to the farm and grow more food for everyone in the country. We must also look at the rapid but thoughtful implementation of our life, livestock development and management plans, including dairy farming and others. According to the, uh, the source of this news said, the vice president is not happy with this Oppose or uh, op, uh, uh, President Bola Ametunubu's stand on this. So you can see these people are confused. Now you are talking about no importation of food though from where and there. Farmers will grow crops in Nigeria. I beg which land? Is it the land bandits have taken over? Where are they going to grow these crops? Because this is what they are not even putting into consideration. Our lands have currently being taken over by bandits and Boko Haram. Nigerians are no longer in their settlement. Those farmers, they are being driven away by these people. The government should know what they are doing. Because with the way the whole thing is right now, you can understand that these people, they are confused. As of today, Naira is going 1,700. Uh, 1, yes. Maybe by the end of the week, the, the, I'm talking about dollars, please, pardon me. Dollar will become 1,008. Not be problem with this. I beg. Beg a drop and for you. When I say answer. When you have so many masters, this is what you get. These people, they are not really sitting down and discuss things. Just like the way President Bola Ahmed Tunibu came and said, hey, first subsidy is gone on his inaugura inauguration day. Without, knowing, without implementation to caution the effect of first subsidy. And that is what we are, you know, uh, that is the, 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 the problem we are facing today. But instead of them, you know, to face the reality, they are busy. They are busy uh, blaming opposition party for their failures. I bet make a drop on for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.